Hello everyone, this is my third attempt today to try and record this video. I keep messing it up because I am such a noob. I think I got it this time. So, uh, I don't like the way I ended off last video. Didn't get to enough presets. Let's get to some presets. Let's dive straight in where I left off. Uh, I'm in the pluck uh, preset patches. I like this one called Harp Pluck. <laughs> It uses the um, the pluck uh, oscillator that they have, which is super cool sounding. I can't really get to everything um, that's going on, but basically, basically this uh, this oscillator simulates an actual plucked instrument. So this is kind of like your Roland D50 destroyer. Um, lots of cool stuff in this. Um, so anyways, the, the plucks are all basically like that. I'm gonna go super speed here because I just don't got the time. Uh, granular, that's another one I wanted to show you guys some of the granular stuff. For those of you that don't know, including me, I don't even really know, I shouldn't be the one to explain this, but uh, granular synthesis is where you take a sample of something, so an audio clip, huge floating cord, you know, stuff like that. Big long thing, and then um, uh, you kind of play it back and forth in sort of an oscillating manner. And uh, those are what you would call the grains. So uh, you can see these little lines here. These are the grains. I don't know how to zoom in with this yet. Um, still learning. Still learning. So anyways, you can change the size of the grains and how fast they move back and forth. And it will change stuff. Um, let's see if I can even just get some of that going here. Scrape one, multi-envelope. Ooh, this is a complicated patch, man. That's your big boy. Is that it? Is that what I'm looking for? Damn, I had it earlier. Ah. Let's uh, MIDI-learn this. So, amp mod. I don't know what any of this crap is. This is a really, really complicated thing. Uh, I wish I could do it more justice. I don't have time, but you can really make super luscious sort of uh, ambient soundscapes with this stuff. I would really like to know what I'm doing with it. Um, synth brass, got to kick out all these. <laughs> Here's sort of your faux Fangelis. Uh, a couple of saw waves detuned. The classics. Yeah. Nice old school sound there. patches you're supposed to hold. That's what that's where I always get hung up because I'm never holding a note. I'm always fiddling around. 
It's part of my chiptune background, I guess. That one's not supposed to be played like this. That's how I play. Scanner synth. I wonder if they're making a reference to the movie Scanners. Revic, no! Man, Michael Ironside was so cool in that movie. And a little side note, Scanners. The whole movie took place in a weird office building. Like super sterile Alberta. Where people are making people's heads explode. Jeez. Sampling old on the mod wheel. Anyways, um, well, let's, let's end it off with some sub drones. Some pads. I haven't done a single pad yet. Two of the same one in a row. It's just fun to mess around with. I'm still going. Anyways, I better um, better call it here. I just don't have the time. I wish I had the time. I think I did that one last time. Anyways, um, I do want to make some more videos. Um, I'm not I'm not going to do another video of the uh, the presets for Falcon. I think you guys get the gist of it now. I do recommend that you go check out uh, the latest video that uh, UVI just put out uh, on their website. It's a very good breakdown of uh, what they've got going on in depth um, in the future I might do another video on uh, some FM synth and making your own patches from scratch in FM synth and uh, some some more presets um, or just making your own patches uh, in synthesizers in general but anyways that's what uh, you can look forward to after this and uh, that's it for me bye everyone